following the directive or advice from the Ghana Police Service to prophets, pastors, religious leaders concerning prophetic messages, we are out here on the city newsroom to speak to some religious leaders, pastors and prophets, asking them what they make of this directive. The ethics of the, of the profession must be uh, at play here. That, like a doctor, you just don't come out if the person is dying and then start announcing, oh, he will die, he will die, he will die. No, you cause fear in the family, you cause panic. In, but you even have a way of doing it or saying it. You see, even as, as Ghanaians or as Akans, when somebody is dead, we just don't go around and say, well, we have a way of, you see, uh, in idiomatic expressions to say it such that you, 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 you relay it so that people come to understand it. So if they think that, well, that is the only way by which they will do it, then they should be ready to prove it. That's what the police is saying. And if you are not able to prove it, that's where it becomes very difficult. The police are not the barren prophecy. They are only advising and cautioning that there are laws in this country. If your prophecy will cause fear and panic, then be prepared to face the consequences. Then don't say that because we have prophets who are bold. If you say it's from God and you defy the law, then be ready to face the full rigors of the law. But I think that God has given us wisdom. One, Philippians chapter 127, the apostle Paul said something. He said that we should conduct ourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel. Jesus was a meek man. Jesus respected authority. Jesus Christ, when he came on earth, he paid tax. He did not disregard the laws of the land. Again, uh, um, 1 Corinthians 14 verses. The Bible says prophecy comes to build, to comfort, and to encourage. Prophecy that brings fear and panic cannot be from God. I stand by that. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 6. So, even if the prophecy is direct, it says that, yes, yeah, somebody is going to die. You watch the scriptures. It, the Bible always gave a condition. And then the Bible give room for escape if there is repentance. Those who are sheep, I'm the shepherd. If you are president, if you are chief, if you're somebody in this country, let's say outside the country, if you're a judge, if you're a celebrity, you know, no, you are not my church member. You don't pay your tithe in my church. You don't worship in the same altar with me. Why should I have to? email you a prophecy <laughs> because you don't believe in the author that I believe but it's good that they have bring that message out Ghana police I think they know what they know that they have sent that message out there this directive has been stated by disturbances occasioned as a result of some revelations described as doom prophecies in 2019 for instance followers of the chief imam destroyed property of Reverend Owusu Bempa after he prophesied the death of the leader of the Muslim community in Ghana. Similarly, a shooting stunt by dancehall artist Shatawale occasioned by a shooting prophecy against him became a matter of a court hearing involving the artist. But founder for the Prophetic Hill Chapel, Prophet Nigel Gaze says this will not deter him. Prophecy was and is and will forever be. And to what the release of the, from the Ghana Police Service. Personally, and I think that the modern day, most of the prophet, we are law-abiding citizens. So we'll go by what they are suggesting. But the Bible says that there should not be any, any authority that is established is established, of course. So we will, we, will, we will work for me personally. I'll work, I've spoken to one or two prophets here and there, and a lot of prophets are calling me. We will work around it. But I want to make a point here that the Bible says in First Thessalonians 5 verse 20, the Bible says that we should not treat prophecy with contempt, with contempt. And if somebody wants to be mischievous, they will do, go the way they are going. All I want to say is that whoever is there in the higher level of authority, you came to meet prophecy. Prophecy, you will go. Prophecy will be there. 
prophecy will forever be there. So personally, I'll prophesy. And if you are watching me as a prophet of God, I encourage you that this is the time to tell whether you are with God, we are by the side of God or otherwise. And the, let the Spirit of God lead you. That is why the component of prophecy, you have to have word of wisdom, discernment, before you can prophesy. So I think that we should use much more of uh, wisdom here. But then, what God says, speak that says the Lord. Speak that says the Lord without any fear, without any trembling. So for me, I'm ready. 31st would be awesome. And already have about 42 prophecies for the nation Ghana and the nations across the borders of Ghana for individuals. So if you want to hear what God is saying, and this year I gave, I was inspired to give about 30 prophecies, 25 came to pass. And what is ahead of Ghana, we have to hear what God is saying through his man servant. And I want to tell Ghana, and I want to tell the authorities that be, that even if they're so sick, if it's a diabolic, I pray that it's not a diabolic agenda. But let's even assume that without not admitting that it's a diabolic agenda, and they are able to silence all the prophets, just like in Nebuchadnezzar did. And God was able to raise stones to prophesy. So if they, are, they think that maybe the prophetic is, uh, is worrying them because of some of the infamous things they are doing, I mean, God will have a way that he will still communicate. Nobody can silence heaven. You can choose to silence Prophet Nigel. You can choose to silence Prophet Bedukubi. You can choose to silence other prophets. But hey, God will still speak because God is God. Meanwhile, the Ghana Police Service has reiterated the need for church leaders to seek for evidence before publishing prophecies which have the tendency of causing fear and harm to other individuals. As an individual, you ensure that uh, if it is private, you keep it to yourself. Particularly if it has uh, a potential of harming and then uh, doing all those related things that in the end you cause fear and panic among others. And if you are able to take a decision, you should be able to feel the consequence and therefore in matters of this nature when you alter something that in light of the law may is likely to cause harm among others you should be ready to provide evidence that uh, you have evidence for saying so for altering so for conducting yourself in that manner and that kind of evidence you have may uh, appeal to the senses of the investigator or the investigators and the courts because you are dealing with mortal laws, you are not dealing with matters of that pertains to supernatural. Reporting for City News, my name is Philip Nee Latte.